the ventilator operates in three possible modes, uh, pressure, volume, and flow. The two most common that most doctors and respiratory therapists are going to look for is the pressure and volume modes. Those are the two most popular. Um, of those, volume is the most popular mode, so we'll go over that quickly. Uh, here you can see the graph constantly in real time graphing uh, the cycle, the breathing cycle. Um, we have a fine bag cycle where when you press that button, the arm actually comes down and measures the bag um, size. So regardless of the size of bag that you're using, it will always work. It will always know. Um, here we can adjust uh, volume, lung volume. Uh, the uh, percent of the cycle that is, you spend inhaling, which the terminology isn't right, but it's relevant. Um, and then the cycles per minute, the breathing cycles per minute. So right now we're running 500 milliliter, which is pretty average. Um, 20 cycles a minute, which is pretty much on the high end of the spectrum for a resting adult. Um, so we can slow it down a little bit, something a little, a little more normal. And right away, you'll see on the graph that those peaks get wider apart, which means that it's slowed down. And then we can go up to like 900 uh, milliliters. And you'll see on the graph that the next spike is up here at 900. Um, so it's very responsive. It's always measuring pressure. That's one feature that will be on here. It's always measuring peep pressure. Um, and it's uh, always responding. It has two pressure sensors in it. So there's that safety uh, redundancy in sensors. And uh, it's a pretty slick interface. The beauty of this too is that it can be changed uh, with very short notice. So we can update, because it's digital, we can update it. Uh, with very little notice and it gives the doctors um, a little more room to fine-tune it with us and um, give us feedback on how to make it even better.